All right, guys, so the whole car is officially clayed. This is actually the second day I had to do a quick 20, 30 minute on these two door panels here. But uh, claying, guys, just to give you guys an estimate, it's going to be around like if you have a good size sedan and take your time, it's going to be at least an hour and a half to two hours. OK, so I use the medium. I went with actually the medium um, grit with uh, chemical guys, and then I ran out of chemical guys luber so i used uh some quick detail spray and just so you guys know everything just listen you shouldn't be able to hear anything so there's the top all right nothing this is the worst area nothing nothing so before you guys start polishing guys make sure the paint feels smooth so we're gonna begin polishing i got everything out that i'm gonna need for the first initial one we got the porter cable 7424 i believe the uh, rotary polisher okay we're going to be using the orange hex logic pad now we're either going to start with the vss to see if this is going to do the job if it's not going to do the job guys we're going to go v36 v38 two-step polish we're going to put five dime size drops put this on top of there five dime size drops on there and then we're going to be spraying a little bit of conditioner and buff away any excess that we're going to need after the first pass so let's get started it's hard to pick up on camera guys but as you guys can see there are tons of scratches if you take a look on the right side of the screen we got scratch right there scratch scratch tons of scratch very hard guys i apologize for that but it's going to be very hard to pick up on camera i can instantly see all the scratches so there's some big ones right there okay all right, guys, so I'm ready to go. I got the orange pad on, ready to go. Handle, everything's connected. Make sure it's over the shoulder. So first thing you're going to do, guys, is always shake up your chemicals. We're going to try VSS, like I said, first. If that doesn't work out, we're then going to go to the 36 and 38. So start with five dime-sized drops. All right, guys, then you're going to grab your spray conditioner. All right, couple sprays. Good, just like that, so it doesn't build up too much heat. We're gonna start with level one on here, and it goes up to level six, and then we're gonna first spread it out with level one, and then go and polish with level six. So let's spread it out first. Now that's spread out guys we're gonna go to level six bump it up always keep it on here and then begin and we're gonna see if vss can do the job just like that as you guys can see start with level one then go to six when you start seeing it's starting to haze a little bit and there's not much product left i don't know if you can tell in the sunlight then it's pretty much good to go uh next time i'm probably going to do a little bit more or sorry a little bit less of a room instead of this whole thing so let's see vss a little bit of elbow grease to take off okay flip it around we're gonna buff that excess right off here all right, and let's see if VSS is going to be able to do the job. If it doesn't, we're going to need V36 and V38. All right, so that's done here. There's still some minor scratches, as you guys can see. I don't know. Can you get a little bit close, focus in on the paint, and see if you can see any scratches there? I don't know how much you're going to tell, but definitely smoother. But I still see some scratches, so we're going to try V36 now we're going to try v36 the optical grade cutting polish okay the v38 is actually a finishing polish so vss i don't think is going to do it make sure you shake up your chemicals okay we're going to apply five dime size drops again all right and we're going to start polishing like i said i'll speed this one up a little bit level one to start to spread it out and then back to level six and let's continue Alright guys, what I can say, just overall honest opinion off the bat with this thing, it's my first time polishing, it's very sturdy, it's definitely worth the money, I don't, it's not shaky whatsoever, you don't want to put too much force, okay, the handle grip, your hands, I'm about to probably do the whole car today, and I'm probably going to be 
uh, I don't know. I feel like my hands are going to get weak. It, it is quite powerful, um, but it's built to last for sure. I think the pads are doing great. Let's put this down. Let's just see how we're looking. All right, let's buff that off again, guys. I'm <coughs> sorry. Cut, cut, cut. All right, let's buff that off, guys. It is a little bit hard to actually buff off. That's one, I guess, con I could say. Let's buff that off, guys. Flip it around, buff it off again. It might just be this cheap towel. I don't know. All right, guys, so that's V36. So like I said, we're going to have to go around with V38. But let's just see how that did. If we can come close, I'm not too sure if you can see. I think there's definitely some improvement for sure. Let me just wipe this down so you guys can see. I think there's definitely some sort of improvement. So we're going to go with V38 and stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm back inside. It has been currently two to three hours, and all I've done is probably the hood, the windows, the back, the rear, um, and I still need to do both bumpers and then all four doors and the roof. So that just puts it into perspective how long it actually takes. Now I realize why people dedicate Friday all the way through Monday, a three to four day for a two to three step correction with the wax and the clay bar and, and the wash and everything. So please, if you guys are watching this, dedicate at least three to four days more than enough um so you guys don't rush or, or stressed or and then take it out on the car and then you know damage your car in the end as you guys saw at the beginning of this video i realized that i couldn't use vss just to clear up those minor scratches i had to go and use v36 and v38 so thank god i ordered those um, if you guys do have very light scratches you can get away with vss all right guys so the porter cable machine the 7424 is it worth the money I think 100% if you're just getting into detailing, if you're just starting out polishing uh, and, and definitely like a weekend beginner, I think it is 100% worth the money for two, 300 bucks. You guys cannot go wrong. You're not going to, like I said, damage the paint with this machine. I feel like the more higher end models, you're 100%. If you don't know what you're doing, going to damage the paint. Um, the backing plate's great. It stays on. The handle's awesome. It does move around a little bit. And if you're not used to the vibration like I wasn't, then it's definitely going to be something like a hurdle at the beginning. But I feel like I can definitely get used to it. The value for money, guys, 13 items for 250 to 300 bucks Canadian. I feel like it is definitely worth it. I'm going to spend five, six, seven hundred dollars if I had to purchase each and every like single item out of that kit uh individually you're gonna go for the cleaner 15 you're gonna go for the conditioner 20 you know all the polishes this thing right here is probably two three hundred bucks on its own so i think the value for money is great all right guys that's gonna do it for the video i started off by reviewing all 13 items in the kit a full honest 
uh, unboxing. I then went to go wash the car, clay the car. You guys saw a little bit of clips in regards to the polishing. From what I can see from the car, it is now done a good 60 to 80%. It's not going to be perfect. You're not going to get all the scratches out. But for the money, guys, I believe this is 100% worth it. Hopefully, you guys have learned something or taken something from this video, and it has helped you determine if this is the kit for you. So, all my mods will be down in the description box. The kit will be down in the description box. Everything I use in regards to my BMW E90 will be down in the description box. So, if you guys enjoyed, like the video, smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.